Hello and welcome back to another episode of bigbusiness.co.in where our goal is to grow your business. In this special video, we are going to look at the one of the interesting business opportunities in the fruits and vegetables business. Our key focus in today's video is the incredible business opportunity in the storage and reselling of fresh onion, which can get you up to a whooping 300% return on your investment and that too in a very short period of 5 to 6 months max. Yes, you heard it right, it is around 300% and that too from our favorite vegetable called onion, which is almost used in all Indian dishes. When I talk about such numbers, please don't think that this is a scam or get rich quick scheme or something that ignites the greed in you. This is a serious, achievable, legal business that is completely backed with genuine data and scientific analysis, which I'm going to present to you step by step in this video. So please watch this video till the end and then decide if the facts presented make sense or not. And you can also cross check the facts from the resources that I'm going to give you in the description below. And later, if you are convinced, you can take a decision to invest with us. We all know that Onion has many health benefits, but we are not going to discuss in this video about the health benefits, but we are here in this video to discuss about the wealth benefits that this tuber can give us. Yeah. So the idea of any business is to buy low and sell high. Similarly, the main concept of this business model is to buy the onion at a very low price in the month of May when the crop is available in abundance and store it away safely in a protected environment and then sell it off in the month of September or October this year when these prices will go sky high. So before we go in depth about the commercial gains and how we can make a neat profit from this onion business, I would like to give you first of all an intro about who I am and in what authority I am doing this video. I am Krishna, popularly known as Udla Krishna in the onion trade and I have been in this onion business since 2015. I live in Chennai, India. To know more about me personally, feel free to visit my personal Facebook page or browse my profile on my corporate website www-goodluck-group.com. I started as an exporter of onion in 2015 and my first consignment of onion was to Malaysia and apparently the importer of this first container was also my own company in Malaysia called Good Luck Group Sindhan Bahar. Which means I was both exporter and importer in my first consignment itself. Subsequently in later years I turned into a full time importer of onion and started importing in my own companies in Dubai, Malaysia and Vietnam. In the year 2020, we were importing around uh, 15 containers of onion each month in my company in Vietnam alone. We mostly sold it to the wholesalers in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. And in August 2020, we even started selling onion online on a B2C model through Facebook post. Uh, just selling onion alone, packed in 10 kilos mesh bags to our Indian community in Vietnam. This went on well till September 2020 until the government of India slapped a ban on onion exports. This was very disturbing for my team in Vietnam and Malaysia and also for my exporters back in India. With my experience in this business since 2015 and also from the available data from the government website of APEDA, A -P -E -D -A, I came to know that the government has the practice of either banning the export of onion altogether or imposing an MEP which stands for minimum export price so as to curtail the export of fresh onion from India. As you can see in your screens now, they had put an either an MEP or a total ban on onion exports on 22nd December 2010, 8th June 2011, 29th June 2012, 13th August, 40, sorry, 14th August 2013, 21st August 2014, 24th August 2015, 23rd November 2017, 19th January 2018, 13th September 2019, 14th September 2020. Such restrictions were imposed almost on each and every year except for 2016. This 2016 is a very important year. It is the only year in our sampling from 18 years between 2003 and 2020 where the price of onion did not go up as expected and I will talk about this later in this video. I have shared this link to these notifications from the APEDA website in the description below and you can copy and paste it in your browser to cross check it yourself. So this kind of restrictions comes usually around June or August or even in September and last till October or sometimes goes up to December. Now you may wonder why would the government block or restrict the export of a product when usually exports of any commodity is considered as a foreign exchange earner and we all know that when exports increase the overall economic growth of a country increases with it. Exports can even give a better price and a better profit to both farmers and the traders. So why stop it? 
the answer to this is onion is a very sensitive commodity it can make a person cry when peeling it and it can sometimes make a person cry when buying it also you must have seen the memes on the internet going around about this so just as how price uh, of diesel or petrol can become a national sensation and hits the headline in mainstream media onion price increase is also a sensitive issue and it can even become a parliamentary debate because the onion grower is the small farmer the onion farmer is not the 20 and 30 acre one he is the small farmer with less water so he really needs to be protected no, in my request in fact ha main itna lassan pyaas nahi khati hu ji so don't worry as seen in the clip sometimes the price can go so high that even rich people like nirmala sitaram and their family members reduce the consumption of onion so sad isn't it anyways coming back to our topic this regular ban on onion restriction on onion exports was troubling my onion business overseas and so i decided to come back to india in the month of october 2020 and i started domestic trading of onion uh in jan 20121 alone i had done about uh, 84 lakhs rupees worth of sales in onion business in domestic trading in south india i was even supplying to a few shops in coimbatore market in chennai tamil nadu in february 2021 i opened my procurement office in chandwad village in nasik and started supplying to wholesale customers in south india in places like chennai pondicherry tirunelveli marthandam and even some parts of kerala so why am i saying all this because the opportunity that i'm going to talk about shortly is very important and so i want you to know that you're getting this information from a person who has been in this business since 2015 and also the probably the only person who had been in the entire spectrum of onion business right from procuring the goods from the farm exporting the onion selling onion in the domestic market in india importing onion in dubai malaysia and vietnam and also selling onion online So now that I've laid down my credentials in this business, let me now present to you the business opportunity. As mentioned earlier, we have seen from both Mundi reports and from the export data that onion prices are at low during April and May month and rise steadily up to October. This happens almost each and every year. I've gone through this data from the year 2003 and this genuine data openly available to one and all at government run websites like uh, DGFT apeda and agmarknet i'm now sharing some of the above data on your screens now for your reference as you can see i have downloaded the data and saved it in excel format on a year by year basis the key data that you need to focus here is the year the model price and the date of transaction for easy understanding purposes i have sorted out the price on ascending order basis and i have color coded the lowest prices in green to visually indicate them and understand them as entry points i have color coded the highest prices in red as to visually indicate them as exit points and some data has been color coded in blue we can relate color blue to water and these data marked in blue symbolically indicates them as testing the waters or a safe zone or uh, it can be even related to the blue ocean strategy in short these data marked in blue is a safe number for people to exit with a minimum profit of 36% per annum returns for their investment now that we have done the price sorting and color coding i have next done the average entry prices and the exit prices by taking 12 values of uh, trade data for the working days in may and similarly date of 12 working days for the respective exit period which usually falls at the end of september or in the beginning of october We usually have about 90 working days for each year between May and October but surprisingly we have very very less data sets for the year 2006 and 2008 I really don't know why so with whatever data we can get officially I've done my best to produce this spreadsheet in front of you I hope you have understood the framework on which we have compiled the data and now as you can see on your screen each year's data has been brought to this sheet over here this sheet is compiled on the years the transaction took place from uh, this sheet i have sorted the data based on the return on investment and i have arranged it on ascending order on the roi which is return on investment out of the 18 years of records we have obtained we can only see that one year was a total loss to the trader and all other 17 years was a super success which means the odds of winning this game is very much high at least if you look at it from a scientific perspective and not just as a game of luck 
Another interesting thing is out of the 18 years, 17 successful years had double digit returns with the average return on investment at around 61% per annum basis for 7 years and even triple digit returns with the average return on investment at around a whooping 242% per annum basis for 10 solid years out of the above 18 years. During the COVID-19 when most business establishments were literally going out of business, this onion storage business had given an astounding 373% return on investment. I believe it is clear and I hope you have understood the potential that this business has got. Most of you must be wondering what are the procedural aspects and what are the costs involved and how these values mentioned in the screen has been arrived. So for that, let's look at the working sheet where we calculate the cost, the additional expenses and the commission we charge and finally the net report. So as you can see in this sheet, here we can see the cost of the onion as per the real time prices prevailing on the 22nd of April 2020 at Chandwad market in Nasik. On that basic material price, we have uh, added the Monday commission and the transport charges, labor and good on rent and arrived at the subtotal 1. Then we are setting aside a portion for weight loss and damages that can happen over the period of time when the onion is being stored and uh, we are also adding the cost of insurance to cover us for uh, loss against theft, burglary and floods. We also added the cost of interest on the funds deployed at a rate of 36% per annum and we arrive at the subtotal 2 almost 99% correct values and these values have been arrived based on past experience. However, the next item in the list which is the estimated selling price is a very conservative amount of rupees, 35 only per kilo. At this point, I would like to add that we charge our commissions only on the gross profit. In case there is no profit for you, then we do not charge any commission. It is only because that we strongly believe that this business has a high success ratio, we have a decided to charge commission only on a profit only basis. So assuming you have a capital of rupees 1 lakh, you could uh, have bought 8,496 kgs based on the above figures. And if your profit was around rupees 13 per kilo, then you are expected to have rupees 1 lakh 10,681 as your net profit after all expenses. Even after setting aside the interest burden at the rate of 36% uh, per annum, assuming you had raised funds in the open market or from a bank. So friends, I request you all to consider this proposal and make the best use of the opportunity. This is a 100% legitimate business and it is a seasonal business whereby you can only do it only when the market permits and only when the opportunity comes right in front of you. So this is not some business that you can do any time in the year. This is possible only between the period of uh, May and October every year. And as I have shown you with clear proof, the success rate is very, very high. And the probability of winning this is also very high compared to the probability of losing. As we had seen only in the year 2016, people had lost money. I am also reminding you about this year 2016 as a matter of disclaimer because in any business, investment is subject to market risk. When I had pitched this proposal to a few, few of my friends and some uh, businessmen in my circle, they asked if we will get any problems from the government by storing these kind of essential goods which is used in our daily life. Because earlier in the video I had told you that government takes steps to control the price inflation by banning the export of onion or by uh, issuing a MEP circular for exports. So the question asked was will government take some measures to control storing of such goods. Well, first of all, last year in 2020 a bill was passed in the parliament of India to remove onion, potatoes and few other products from the essential commodities list. The bill is also aimed at uh, removing fears of uh, private investors and excessive regulatory interference in their business operations. So by this bill, the government believes that by giving the freedom to produce, hold, move, distribute and supply, it will lead to better economies of scale and attract foreign direct investment into agricultural sector. So need not worry if the government will cause you any trouble when you invest in on onion storage. In conclusion, storage of onion in reasonable quantities is 100% legal. The next question that pops on the investor's mind is how do we part our hard-earned cash to a complete stranger? Well, that is the reason I had mentioned about our company's credibility in the beginning of this video and also we would like to bring to your notice that all uh, legal documentation will be done as per the law and we will be entering into a contract for the safety of both the parties. So now that you are both confident and also interested to invest, the next question is how much should one invest? Should it be 1 lakh or 5 lakh or even 20 lakhs? 
the best yardstick for any investments in the market is to invest an amount which will not disturb your lifestyle if in case it turns to be a bad investment due to several unforeseen reasons do not be greedy and put all your chips at one go invest in an amount that is comfortable to you and also at the same time a good amount of money that can fetch you handsome returns so it is your call and you are you are the best person to decide how much you can afford to invest as uh, each person's risk appetite and capacity will differ from one another for those who are interested in this investment opportunity you are most welcome to contact me at the numbers flashing on your screen below or you can check our contact details in the description below you can also contact your uh, agent who had shared the link to this video so join us and make money with the opportunities available right in front of you so friends remember if you want to get ahead in life you need to be at the right place at the right time and also join hands with the right people so thank you all and wish you good luck